okay now my dear students in this video we are going to learn the techniques and tricks the shortcut techniques which we will be using in problem number 2 and these techniques and tricks are very important for you in the future classes because if you use this this technique not only it saves you it saves times for you but also it gives you the exact answer okay without following that painstaking method that herculean method that yani the long method okay but that does not mean that these tricks and techniques can be applied with each and every number no there are limitations to these tricks okay that's why we are learning uh, yani techniques shortcuts for only a specific uh, types of numbers okay for example you saw in the previous two videos that we uh, learned the technique of multiplying any number by 9 okay by we learned the technique to multiply any number by 11 similarly we learned the technique of multiplying any number by 15 and 99 and so on okay but each and every number does not have a trick and technique so that's why wherever you find whenever you find this kind of numbers okay 9 11 you have to multiply any number by 9 or 11 or 15 or 99 then you can use these techniques um, to get the answer very simply and easily okay now in this video we are going to learn about how to multiply uh, these numbers using techniques okay so 2 a 6 6 7 00 2 So how can you multiply this number with twenty? Okay, you can use this method six six seven double zero two zero, and you can get the answer. But I am not going to teach you this method because you already know this. Okay, so I am going to teach you a very simple method. And what is that? Just multiply the numbers. That is six six seven. Leave the zeros. Okay, and two. So wherever you find that the numbers have zeros. assign to them as their last digits wherever you find so here you can see that zeros are the last digits of the first number and similarly zero is the last digit of this number so wherever you find that you are required to multiply numbers and they have zeros as their last digits just leave that last digits first okay so how many zeros 1 2 3 so just remember that we have left aside three zeros just remember that and now multiply 6 6 7 2 so you can easily multiply 6 6 7 2 Okay, so six six seven double zero two zero will be a much big, uh, which will be a bigger multiplication, isn't it? You need to calculate it, uh, and that's uh, what is the long multiplication in the, in comparison to six six seven two. Okay, so just multiply this one. Two sevens are fourteen, one. Two six are twelve. Carry one thirteen. One. Two six are twelve, and one is thirteen. So we got one three three four. Very simple. How many zeros were left aside? You can see three zeros. So just put these three zeros in the answer, and this is the answer. Similarly, you go to number B. Three zero eight nine into hundred. Again, you can see that we have this number has two zeros as its last num last digits. Okay, but you cannot remove the zeros from the middle i am saying that if the number has zeros as its last digit that only can be left aside okay so this zero cannot be left aside as it is in the middle okay as it is as it is uh, in between two two digits okay so we have seen we are saying that 100 has two zeros as its last digits so we can put them aside so i have put these two zeros aside now what we will do we will multiply 3081 with 1 and you know that any number multiplied when multiplied by 1 is that number only so you don't have to write that so that is 3089 now how many zeros were left aside two zeros just put it here answer so you don't have to use this method 8089 uh, multiplied by 100 and 0000 then 0000 then uh, and writing and at the end of the day some students get confused and they get their answers wrong okay so that is why i use this simple trick so whenever you are required to multiply any number with 100 or 1000 or 10000 or lakh just write that number and put how many zeros are there in the power of 10 that is the number which you have 
uh, in the second place okay similarly uh, let us have the second the next ones okay how are we going to multiply any number by 50 okay so that is 20405 into 50 very simple method very simple method what are we going to do is that we will multiply 20405 with what is 50 100 so we will just double this and we will divide it by 2 so what we are going to do we will multiply this number with the double of 50 that is 100 and we will divide it by 2 now you will say sir this is more difficult sir no it's not difficult because in the previous uh, method i said that if you are required to multiply any number with 100 you don't have to multiply at all you just write that number 2045 and you put how many zeros are there in 100 this is the answer so we have multiplied this one we got the answer now we have to divide this by 2 that's also easy division by 2 is very simple 204050 zero, zero, so 21 is 2 we got a 0 so we have to put a 0 over here then 4 will come so 2 2 za 4 again we got a 0 so we have put, we have to put a 0 over here okay then 5 will come so 2 2 za 2 2 za is 4 1 0 so 2 5 za is 10 then extra 0 we got okay so extra zero we got so we have to put a zero over here so what is the final answer one zero two zero two five zero very simple very simple so instead of multiplying this one to five digit number with 50 that's a painstaking and a long yani multiplication you can simply multiply it multiply it by 100 and that is nothing that is just writing that number with two zeros and you can divide it by two simply if you are expert in division. Okay, hope you understood use these methods to multiply these numbers.